Hey, welcome back to CITR 101.9 FM, broadcasting live from the Study and Go Abroad Fair here at the Convention Center in Vancouver. My name's Jasper. I'm with my colleague, Kira, and we're joined by Tom, the Honorary Consulate of Finland for the province of BC and the territory of Yukon. Welcome, Tom. Thank you very much. Um, what brings you here today to the Study and Go Abroad Fair? Well, we obviously um, want to be promoting our uh, great education system opportunities that we have uh, in Scandinavia, in particular in Finland. Mm -hmm. So we are here to uh, answer questions and uh, let people know more uh, about the opportunities to, to visit, either for, for a shorter period of time or to, for, to come and study there for longer. Oh, okay, I see. Now, um, let's, say, let's say there's some um, recent high school grads listening or, or undergraduate students who might be considering going to Finland what, what 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 advice would you give them what should they where should they look sure so of course the first answer is like just do it uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 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 always worth going and exploring the world and, and uh, learning learning uh, you know how things are done in other places uh, obviously uh, if you're still in school well graduate get good grades uh, and okay. then uh, then start looking uh, there's obviously a lot of information online um, all the countries in Europe even with strange languages like Finland uh, we have uh, you know English-speaking uh, bachelor's programs, uh, so where you can apply to, apply to, and then mo mostly all of master's programs are in English as well. So okay. if you're looking for that uh, already, you know, you know, at that stage, uh, there are lots of opportunities, and obviously the education system we have is is pretty good. So so a lot of uh, world-class uh, uh, studies you can do there. And and it looks like so you yourself are you split your time between British Columbia and and the territory of Yukon. Is that uh, correct? Uh, I wish I would split my time there. I mean, I'm responsible also for for Yukon, but obviously, you know, I spend majority of my time and activities here in BC. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, it, it must be it must be really fun to 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 be you know working in these in these places. Um, how can people reach you if they wanted to? I mean, aside from coming today until six o'clock, sure. you can come talk face to face. But how can people? How can folks reach you? Sure. Well, we have our uh, our uh, consulate here in. in um, in Vancouver, so obviously uh, you can always contact the consulate directly uh, through uh, through our web website and of course phone and, and email as well for, for any questions. Uh, our uh, embassy staff in Ottawa also obviously is, uh, is there too, especially when people have questions about visas, you know, study visas and so on. And we are really excited that we are actually starting next year, going to be part of, um, of a sort of a youth mobility program between Canada and Finland, which allows young Great. people to uh, get an uh, uh, fairly straightforward uh, visa that allows them to stay and work temporarily uh, in in Finland as well. So that's a great way of exploring. If you have a you know want to have a half a year or a gap year, you know you want to go and explore, travel, and earn some money to travel more. Yeah. So uh, that's something that's starting next year, and we hope that a lot of Canadians would find that find Finland as the destination as well. That's really exciting. Uh, for folks who might not know a lot about Finland, might not know what it has to offer, what would you suggest to people? who might want to learn more and might want to visit yeah well I mean uh, we are apparently the happiest country in the world we, we Congratulations. Our, thank you we, we, we still wonder ourselves how that is but that's what they tell us uh, obviously it's a it's a great society uh, you know where we always of course had that you know uh, equality and equity as, as sort of the key values uh, you know I think resonates with Canadians but I think so we're probably taking it one one step further and uh, so I think in that sense sort of it uh, offers a lot of opportunities for, for everybody. Of course, you know, if you are from Canada, you know, we have a great nature here. BC is an amazing place. Uh, you know, Finland is as well. But I mean, it's sort of a, we probably cannot, you know, say that we are much better than that. Uh, and then we have a lot of other common things, of course, you know, um, you know, say basic values people have. Everybody loves hockey. Uh, you know, here in Canada, we like to beat the U.S. In Finland, you know, the only thing that matters is to beat the Sweden. So it's, <laughs> it's some of those things that sort of, you know, are very easy to relate to. That's very relatable. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Tom, thank you for spending some time with us today, letting people know about this mobility program and, you know, what Finland has to offer. Uh, you said the mobility program launches next year sometime there's still some details being worked out i imagine that, that's right it's the same kind of program that canada has with many countries already yeah so it uh finland and canada just reached an agreement uh between the governments earlier this year so they are basically just now crossing the t's and, and getting all the details done but it should launch early next year so people who are uh, starting to plan for what they're going to do next spring and summer which i guess we all should start doing yeah. soon. <laughs> uh, and, uh, so it's, it should be in time for that so in coming coming months you know more details about you know uh, of the technicalities should be out as well that's great
Uh, Tom, thanks for joining us today on CITR. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Um, we are live at the Study and Go Broad Fair for a few more minutes. We will be right back after this musical break.